Hello again. We were discussing about power plant engineering. Now we'll be discussing about unit two, that is a uh, diesel gas turbine and combined power plant. We'll be discussing about auto cycles. Auto cycles are basically spark ignition uh, cycles or petrol engines. So basically, we have an acid tropic compression over here, one to two, and then we have a constant volume heat addition process, and finally we have an uh, acid tropic expansion process, and finally we have an exhaust cycle that is four to one. Now we have a diesel cycle that is a, a compression ignition cycle. We don't have spark plugs in this cycle. So what happens is that firstly we have an asymptotic uh, compression that is one to two. Then we have a constant pressure heat addition in this, and finally this main process that is asymptotic expansion process three to four we have, and then we have an uh, exhaust uh, process that is uh, constant volume heat rejection process. Then we have a uh, dual cycle. In this dual cycle, what happens is that. Uh, this is the combination of uh, auto and diesel cycle. Both of the uh, cycles are used inside this. So, firstly, we have an uh, asymptotic compression is this one to two. Then we have an um, constant uh, volume process that is heat addition and three to four that is also uh, heat addition isobaric process. Then finally, we have an ex expansion that is asymptotic four to one, four to uh, four to five. Sorry, that is uh, asymptotic expansion. Then finally, we have an exhaust process that is five to one. So we have a Breton cycle over here. It is a theoretical cycle for gas turbines. We use this fresh air in this uh, compressor. So we have an acid tropic process one to two. Then we have an isobaric process, heat addition process. Uh, we provide fuel in this combustion chamber, and we have an heat addition. And then finally we have a uh, turbine which uh, gets uh, the work output, isentropic process. And then finally we have an exhaust process uh, that is four to one heat is rejected in this cycle. Now we'll be uh, discussing about uh, optimization because uh, Breton cycle uh, they can be used uh, practically uh, uh, because uh, it has very less efficiency if it is not optimized. So we'll be discussing about uh, optimization. So we have a regeneration uh, in this Breton cycle. What happens is that from this cycle uh, it can be understood easily. So after the uh, turbine expansion process. The gases has very high temperature. You can see over here. This temperature is a bit high. So we use this as uh, you know preheating this uh, uh, in the gases coming inside the combustion chamber. So we use this uh, temperature. You see this regeneration is uh, kept over here. So gases coming inside the combustion chamber. Uh, you know they are preheated in the, uh, using this uh, regeneration. So we have to only provide this amount of heat before we are providing two to four. Now we have to provide only three to four. So we use this uh, regeneration cycle. They increases the efficiency, but uh, we use a uh, uh, low pressure uh, gas turbines so that uh, we can use it efficiently. So we have an intercooling system over here. So we use uh, two types of compressor in this. Firstly, we compress the air to a point. Then we have an intercooler, and then we compress the uh, air again. And so we use this uh, process because the I mean, a net amount of work done in the process uh, gets increased. You know, uh, if you subtract the net amount of work from the turbine and the work given to the system, that is uh, 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 this one to four process, one to two and three to four, the net amount of work increases. So uh, overall efficiency also increases. Now we have a Breton cycle with reheating. Why you uh, we use this cycle because uh, the turbine uh, used cannot be uh, used at very high temperature because of metallurgical problems. So we divide it into two parts that is high pressure and low pressure. So after high pressure turbine, we have a reheater over here. We reheat the uh, gases. Then we have a low pressure turbine for expansion five to six process. So this four to five process, we are having an heat addition process. So in this overall cycle, we increase the net amount of per unit mass. Uh, net amount of work uh, done per unit mass. So what happens is that the thermal efficiency need not increase because the overall uh, heat added to the system also increases. So actually, in this Breton cycle, it was noted that if uh, if you use any of these three uh, regeneration or intercooling or reheating, it by itself they cannot increase the thermal efficiency to a great amount. So we use uh, all the three in one cycle. So we have uh, an uh, intercooling over here, reheating over here, and regeneration over here. So uh, when we use and practically in uh, in Breton cycle, 
uh, we use all the three at once because uh, they cannot be used uh, single uh, because uh, the thermal efficiency uh, will not increase uh, by a great amount so for uh, for uh, uh, good performance we use all the three cycle in one